I know it sounds stupid, it sounds new age, it sounds ridiculous, but money literally started chasing me once I did this, and it changed my life forever. Uh, it actually happened by accident, too. Uh, I wish I knew it on purpose, but you can know it on purpose, and you can have money chase you. And it comes from unexpected sources. It comes quickly, and, and it comes fluidly, gracefully, easily. And uh, I'm just sitting out here watching the beautiful red rocks. It's a gorgeous day. I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful for you watching this video. Uh, let me know one thing you're grateful for in the comments right there down below. And um, you can check out my free success hypnosis too. It's jakeshypnosis.com. It's pinned to the comments and in the description. It's my free success hypnosis to reprogram your subconscious. So you can turn it into a magnet to attract what you want. So it's right there down below. Okay, so here's what happened, right? Uh, it's this weird theme. So earlier in my career, I've kind of told this story. So forgive me, please, if you heard it. But I was trying to be a college speaker. And I was in my very early 20s. And I had invested the rest of my savings into this guy that was going to coach me on being a college speaker. Well, he ended up taking off with my money, and I was didn't know what to do. I mean, the rug was pulled out from under me. I had invested a bunch of my time and my savings into this certain career path, and the rugs pulled out from under me. Also, I thought this guy was like my mentor and my hero. He turned out to just be another character. So I'm all depressed and angry and all this stuff. And one night I was stumbling around on YouTube, and I saw this guy, and he was talking about teaching people how YouTube works. And I thought, well, I'll try it and it ended up changing my life. I, I did consulting with this guy and I decided I was going to do YouTube and um, I tried for a while and I got no results. It was uh, like most people's channel, all the time people make YouTube channels and then they always quit because the thing about YouTube is that there aren't bots. Like on Instagram, you can get a bunch of likes on your post and you think it's authentic, but it's really just a bunch of bots. But with YouTube, it's based off of real videos, real content, real information, real entertainment. And so um, it takes sometimes longer than you think. At least that's what I thought. So six months into this, I'm about to quit. And I decided to go camping with my, with my wife, Ashley. And we were in a place with no service in the middle of a national forest. So I didn't have any phone service, computer service, and we spent a few days out there and I just totally let go. I was just like, God, uh, thank you for blessing me with a viral YouTube channel. If not, something better. If not, something better. It's one of my favorite sayings to tell myself whenever I'm thinking about what I want. If not this, then something better. You can comment that down below. And it's a mindset more than words though, right? So then after a couple days, my wife and I have to go get Wi-Fi so I could publish a new video. And we go to this little cafe and when we're there, I logged into the internet and all of a sudden I saw that my, um, ah, tasty. I saw that my YouTube channel went viral, literally out of nowhere, old videos that were already up online. And I got like more subscribers in 48 hours when I was camping than the whole history of my channel. And um, ended, my channel ended up blowing up. My website started getting millions of views. All this stuff started happening. Online courses, books selling all over the world, speeches, all this stuff. And, um, and it changed my life. It, it brought in millions of dollars over the course of the next few years. And what happened was I let go of it. I stopped making money so important, not from the perspective of like, I want like a, a car and I want a thing, but from the perspective of, you know how when you want something, you can often think about it a lot, like you really want it or with money. It happens with money a lot because money's so emotional. People really want it for whatever to so they can stop worrying or they can help their mom out or put their kids in a better school or so you can go on vacations with your children, whatever it is. You don't really want money. You want what it can buy. And what happens is sometimes we get desperate about the things that money can buy. 
And that causes us to make dumb decisions, to make arrangements and deals that we wouldn't ordinarily make. Maybe that lower our value or we take them out of fear and lack and scarcity. So they just lead to a dead end. And here I was in the middle of the forest and like as sh as sure uh, as a comet randomly striking the sky, my, my videos randomly go viral. And I realized that there was a theme there. When I looked back at the rest of my life, I, I had this time later in my career where this guy owed, owed me a bunch of money. I don't even want to say how much. It was a lot. And, um, and he was sticking me up. He wasn't paying me and blocked all, they blocked all commute, his company blocked all communication channels. They weren't answering us. And, uh, and I was really pissed cause he owed me a lot of money. And I talked to, uh, Bob Proctor on the phone. I said, text him and I said, Hey, can you talk? And, uh, and he called me right away and I said, ah, I'm so mad. This is what happened. Here's how much I'm owed. This is what he did. And he said, forget about it. You're in scarcity because you think other people are the source of your supply. That's an insignificant amount of money to infinity. It's an insignificant amount of money to infinity, meaning that everything comes from spirit. Everything comes God. Everything comes from universe and it's infinite in nature. Spirit is always for constant expansion and fuller expression. So he walks me through this whole process and I've let go of it. And I kid you not that day. I get contacted by them to pay us and we get paid the full amount immediately. It's this common thread. And then I started bringing that into negotiations and deals where I'm like, yeah, whatever. I don't care if it works out. So I ask for what I want. So I'm not afraid to, to get told no. I'm not afraid of, of extending, hey, this is what I want to do, paint a big vision because I don't care whether it works out. And a lot of times the reason that you're blocking money is you care too much. Now, that doesn't mean you give up and you go sit on the couch. It just means that you don't place your success or failure or you don't emphasize your own validation based off of it. And you don't seek money as, as the end-all be-all because money is just... The money you want comes from spirit through other people and other situations and circumstances. When you understand that everything, including money, actually does come from spirit, from God, and that God blesses your life, then you don't worry about whether something will work out or not. You know it will because it's if not this, then something better. If not this, then something better. Either I'm going to get that, that $100,000 a year job or something better is going to happen. Either I'm going to get that sale or something better is going to happen. Either I hit this goal or something better is going to happen. Either I start making more money and I can travel with my kids around the world and homeschool them or something better is going to happen. Either I start making the money that I've been dreaming of and working hard towards so that I can retire my mom and my dad and, and pay for the insurance for my family that I need and get life insurance and get, a, and get a, a, a new car for my wife so she doesn't have to drive that beater that keeps breaking down or something better is going to happen. And this shift in consciousness moves you out of scarcity and moves you out of competition and moves you out of a finite supply. And it connects you with a higher level of awareness. And that higher level of awareness is a level of awareness that you're not the one doing it. It's being done through you. If you get that it is your right to be rich. I'm going to say that again. It is your right to be rich. Some people are going to be like, oh yeah, stupid prosperity teacher idiot in the comments. Duh, stupid idiot. So if you're still with me, smash the like button on this video. You can check out my free success hypnosis, but not yet. It's jakeshypnosis.com right there down below. I'm going to I'm gonna wrap this video up here in just a minute, so stick with me. But let me know in the comments. I'm with you, Jake, if you're still with me. What I mean by that is it's your right to be rich. If you understand that everything, this wall post right there, my hand, that tree, those mountains right behind me, it's all energy. Everything you want is energy. Money is energy. Everything's energy. And what is this energy? I call it God. I call it spirit. I call it consciousness. I call it energy. I call it the universe, whatever. 
Alan Watts says you can't get wet by the word water. But if you understand that it all comes from this one originating source, then by nature, money is God, just like money, just like God is everything, just like you, just like God is in every cell of your body, just like God is in all the food you eat, the water. It's also money. And while you, you could certainly argue that this financial system is a fraud and it's unfair and they're printing all this money and it's evaluating the currency, et cetera, et cetera. And we can make that argument, right? Another time for another place. But it is your right to be rich because God created a everything. It created planes so you could go travel the world with your children. It created the ideas for, be for another beautiful home so you could retire your mother. It created the car you want so you could drive it and, and have the windows down and feel the cold air on your face while you look at the stars smiling and you're like, thank you, God. God created great bicycles and motorcycles. God did it all. Therefore, don't you think God wants you to experience the fullness of creation, the fullness of abundance, the fullness, the fullness of expansion? The weird thing is, as more money has come into my life, it's brought me closer to God because I now see it all as God blessing me, as spirit blessing me. And when you show up like that and you understand it's your right to be rich because everything is created by God and your divine being and God wants you to experience the fullness of creation, which means God wants you to be able to go travel first class and go see the world and see the beautiful mountains and beaches and waterfalls. God wants you to have enough money to build a new education system, to give people clean water, to help impoverished kids. God wants you to be able to have enough money to provide for your friends and family that may not be able to do it. God wants you to have all of these things. Why else would they be here? Right? Like, seriously, think about it. Why else would they be here? Some people won't get this. But if you can get this and, and meditate on the idea that it is your right to be rich, your life will change. And not it's your right to be rich because you're better or because riches are important and cars are important. No, it's all stupid. It's all an illusion. But the goal is to experience the fullness of life. And the goal is to come alive and do the things that make you come alive. And a lot of those things, money is a medium for doing them. Money is God and you don't want money. You want the things that money, that money is a medium for. And if you feel divinely inspired by a great purpose or a big desire, it's God speaking to and through you. So when you can let go and you can call God into your life and you can work and you can pursue it. And you can like, I was making all these videos with, no, it wasn't that I just quit making videos and I was like, I give up. I'm going to sit on the couch and hope something happens. I still showed up. It's just that it was this or something better. God is moving to and through me. God was the one that brought this person into my life that took advantage of me. God was the one that then made me find this YouTube consultant. God was the one that inspired me to do YouTube. And God is the one inspiring you with great goals, great plans, great dreams. And when you trust in that and you understand that you're a divine being worthy of all you desire... And that you don't live in a scarce universe. You live in an infinite, abundant, friendly universe. This shift in mindset is what allows new opportunities to come into your life. Because from a psychological perspective, you can only attract the types of people that from your own perception levels. When your mind shifts and you understand it's your right to be rich, you'll attract new people, new business partners, new clients, new customers, new ideas. Because... The outside world just proves to yourself deep down what you believe. Your financial life proves deep down what you believe. And you can shift it by remembering it is your right to be rich. There is no validation that outside circumstances, success, and achievements can give you because the kingdom of heaven is within. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure you get my free success hypnosis. It's right there down below. It's jakeshypnosis.com. Right there down below, pinned to the comments. You can use it to start reprogramming your subconscious mind because psychologists say 95% of our life is subconscious. 70% of it is negative and redundant because we've inherited all these crappy ideas from other people about ourselves, our confidence, the world, our habits, things about money, success, um, self-esteem. We inherited it all from the world. 
but you can reprogram it. And I created a success hypnosis. A million people from all over the world have used it now. And every day I get these amazing stories of people attracting all these awesome things. Just listen to it for a couple minutes every single day. It's right there down below. Make sure you hit the like button on this video if you enjoy it. Subscribe, bell notification, all that good stuff. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Remember, if not this, then something better. It is your right to be rich.